So, you've seen the intro, you want to know how to do it, well, looks like I've been stitched up royally this time, doesn't it? Let's get on with it, without moaning, shall we? Has anyone else ever had to do 100 Excel documents from scratch, when they're all virtually the same? You have my sympathies. So, we make a template file using Word or LibreOffice or anything that creates a docx file. You put the variables in your template file into pairs of braces, so that's two lots of two, as per the screen. I mentioned there that I installed python-docx. Um, in the end, I only needed to use docxtpl. The tpl means uh, it's named after, uh, well, it's derived from the word template. And here you can see the documentation which I had to refer to much against my better judgment because I'm often guilty of not checking the documentation but I'm sure everyone else has much better discipline and reads it. Do you read documentation? Let me know. We create a template. The template is then referenced tpl equals doc template in brackets template docx. Put it in the same directory. You could put it in a different directory but you just have to then put that in the path and it's more typing. And why type more if you don't have to? So I think you can all guess where this is going can't you? I've created a dictionary, three usernames or titles, I've called them in this in here. And um, the aim is to make three Word documents dynamically from this piece of code. And um, Alfie, Derek and Clive. Those, if you remember the earlier uh, shot with the template file, those were um, those were the three titles which will be inserted into the braces. All will become clear very soon. TPL.render, that's particular to this, um, this, func this module. And at the end I'm going to just run a loop, a very short loop, and use the function mkw, make word, that's what mkw stood for. I try and keep everything as down to sort of three or four characters if I can. There we go, three documents. They weren't there just now, were they? Mm. So what what can I show you next? I think I need to run it again. There's no point running it once. Just to prove it wasn't a sleight of hand. Let's open one. Let's check them once the cat gets out of the way. So the first document is the name is Alfie. We have a Word document and the name inserted into it is Alfie, which has come from the first dictionary in the nested dict. Second one, file two. The file name is obviously just coming from um, the for loop where I'm just doing for i in range 1 to 4. It's file 2, the name is Derek. File 3, the name is Clive. 
So I've dynamically created three docx files from the template and I've inserted unique information into each one of those. Um, you can see I've also changed the company name and I could have put a different date on each one. So that's kind of what I need for my arduous repetitive task of raising a hundred work plans with Word documents for each one. Um, now, if I run that by a script, they're all going to have the same created time. So you know where I'm going with this, don't you? I will be putting in a random function and a delay of anything between, hmm, what should we say, one minute and two minutes, kind of, that's how long a human would probably take to copy the file and go in and maybe modify a couple of bits. I'll have a think about that. And also, the the dictionary, I've manually just entered three items there. I will, in fact, probably use pandas and read from a CSV of a hundred different sites. So each work plan will correspond to a different site, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, it will become clear in part two, which I would, if you would like me to make, let me know. And if I probably will anyway, so screw you. But um, stay tuned for part two, which um, may be this week, it may be next week, who knows, that's all part of the, the suspense, isn't it? Do you prefer the videos regularly or on a specific day of the week? I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, I've gone on long enough and you've all probably got homes to go to and work to do. So I'll just leave you with the, um, the code on a nice brownish screen for your viewing pleasure. And I will be back sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.